my Virgo is my Virgo. Get your mom around. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're going to do our love. We're going to do the first two weeks, okay? What I'm going to do is a rose petal spread with a tattoo tarot. And we're going to see what's personally going on with my Virgo so we can try to get um, things situated and, and moving, okay? Um, I really feel like... I really feel like you guys think you don't deserve something, and you most certainly do, okay? Um, I need you to stop feeling better about yourselves, because this is this energy to really push through, okay? Um, I feel like some beautiful things are coming your way, but you need to shift your energy. You need to believe in something, anything. My core issue for my Virgos. Well, so we have the lovers and the five of pentacles. Okay, so you're feeling lonely when it comes to connection, and if you're in this connection, you're not feeling it, and um, you're pretty upset. Okay, so this is the issue. I don't know if this person's making you feel like you're not good enough or if somebody, you know, you guys just went through a separation and, you know, you feel lonely, left out in the cold, some sneaky shit went down and we're holding on to it. You know what felt this way. Okay. Um, how you, how you, how was your attitude towards this? Um, I don't think it was good. I, I think it was that it was reversed, it was the king of wands not putting action into this or somebody was not putting action into this and they didn't want to read it this way so you tried, you were pretty determined to make something work I think you wanted the commitment, somebody else didn't if you're in a relationship right now, you're still feeling like this fool you are not connecting past action past action That was reversed. But I feel like you were putting the effort in. Okay. And um, you were putting the effort in. You were trying to nurture something. Advice, please. I kind of feel like it's temperance in that. Why is sitting back in like that? That's crazy. I don't know why I did that. I think I'm going to pull another card because I don't know why I went to put those back in. But temperance in the king and the knight of pence. So what this is saying is, you know, it could be a possible reconciliation. It's time to heal. It's, it's time to blend these energies. You need to put the effort to move forward with the three of cups. So you got two reconciliation cards. So it looks like a, re a reconciliation might be called for. It might be in store. But to me, what this is saying, heal yourself. Move forward. Go, go date. Go have fun. No, for those who are waiting on a reconciliation and it's coming and you're in the midst of it, then you're good. For others, I see that you put the action in. You feel lonely, okay? I don't know if it was a third party or not. I know it was quite the bond, though. Um, but your advice right here is that there's either a reconciliation come, like I said. For others, you need to heal the situation. You need to move forward. It's going to take some time. But go and have fun. Go hang out with your friends. Go, go start dating. Go hang out with family. Just, you know, have fun again in your life, okay? Let's see how you're presently feeling. Yeah, you're sad. Three of swords. But there's light. There's light coming, okay? Um, you're dwelling on the past. Some of you are legitimately dwelling, okay? Um... So I feel like this happened a little while ago, maybe three months ago. You're still hanging on to it. Please release this. This is the energy to move forward. Start having fun in your life again. Where is this heading? The advice is to get out of this. Yeah, it's going to take a little time, but go start hanging out with friends again. Go start venturing out and having fun. Okay. When one door shut, another one's opens. Okay, so 
or is this heading to a new path, whether it's with this person or not? To me, I'm saying I think it's not. But this is you. This is heading to a new path. You choose the you hold the world right now. You have to choose to get out of this energy. Let the door shut. Advice for the future. So you're about to go towards uh, up, down a brand new path. Okay. Take the adventure. Brand new start for you coming, whether it's with this person or not. I kind of feel like some for sure having a reconciliation. Others, it's, it's done. Your advice is to go have a new start. Even if you're going blindfolded and you're scared and you're nervous, just do it. The bottom of the deck is the queen of wands. Go feel inspired again. Use your intuition. Move forward. Start new. It's here. It's coming. If you haven't, if it hasn't come yet, which it hasn't, it's done. Okay. It is within the next two weeks. This is another two. Brand new month. Best advice for the month is have this new start. Leave the snake alone. Smell the roses. Smell the flowers. I know your heart's broken. It's going to take some time to move on, but you are more than capable, and that is the advice they are giving you. I knew I felt this energy. Ugh. All right. It's okay. All right. I really feel like there's love on the other side of this. I can feel it. And you know, Court, I never want to say, go jump into something else, but I feel like there's somebody there waiting. I feel like this is the way it was supposed to go down. And that's it. Like, no kidding. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm about to pull one. There's, there's something beautiful on the other side of this, just waiting for you to step onto this new path. And I almost said, I almost said dirt path. Okay. You got two options here. You can repeat the same wheel and feel stabbed in the back again and feel trapped. Or you can choose a different option. You can choose the other path. So when I said I felt dirt, maybe you're dealing with a dirt bag. Or you can take another option and go towards your dreams. Right now, it just does not feel like your dreams. But I'm, I knew there was something positive behind this wand. I could feel it. And it's funny that it gave me those two choices because you have two choices. And I was feeling dirt. I wasn't feeling a dirt back. But when this came out, I was like, okay, you want to you wanna put yourself in that situation again where you feel trapped and you're just going to continuously get stabbed in the back over and over? Like, how many times do you want to hang yourself? Okay. Four. How about you take a new option, clear up karma, and go after your dreams? Because I feel it. I just don't know what you're going to do. My Virgos, I know it's tough, okay, but there is something amazing if you choose the right path. A, climb, a fiery climax is approaching. And I was going to say, this is why I'm saying it's the perfect energy. Like, use this energy, Aries energy, use it. Be a bull, push through. Leave the dirt clouded in like another road. <laughs> you know, like when you're a bull and you're going, all right? And then it kicks up all this dirt. Leave it on the side of the road. Choose the other road. Don't choose the road with the dirt. Okay? It is time for you to see that it's been a little too much for you. This is a tug of war going on between what you really want and what somebody else really wants. But you just have to wait a little while to see what's really going on, what happens next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling this situation as sensitively as you can. Or have you been being harsh or a little rash or overstepping certain boundaries or not accepting something on a certain level? 
of no matter what situation you're in right now. This means you can create a way out as well. With this card comes up, when this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Be nice, be kind, smile, be polite, let negativity go. Be assertive, be good. All right, don't ride the rough shoulder anymore. If you're in a tense situation, get yourself out of it and take peace. It also says don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be an issue. You need to have more fun. So on the upside of this, as it says, excitement lies ahead, but tempers could flare too. Rash communication, decisions, okay, because some of you might go right back to that dirt and others are going to go right towards their dreams. Ultimately, it's up to you, but you're going to have to choose a path soon. There will be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too harsh or if you want to go backwards. So, if this has been a long time coming, you're good. If you want to take a step and then try to hash it out. If this is something that just happened, like it's saying, you know, don't do it. For me, I really feel like you are going to have two choices. That's why the two of wands are here. You know? What are you going to do? You're going to clear up karma. Sorry. <laughs> you're going to clear up karma, go towards something else. Or you're going to go backwards. Get yourself trapped in a situation, blindfolded, negativity, being naive, hanging yourself up to dry again, being stabbed in the back again. It's a vicious cycle. Or do you want to go after something brand new? Your dreams, a new adventure, a new road. Okay? I love you guys. I wish you the best. Okay? It's on you to get yourself out of this energy. Okay? Believe that there's much better things coming. I mean, they're giving you a brand new opportunity to be a fool. Take a new path. I love you guys. For some, it's a reconciliation. Only if it's been more than enough time. 